YouTube. Good afternoon, good evening, and good night to whenever you are watching this. I am Alex Fantasy, back again, bringing you another episode here of our Let's Play of MLB The Show 2020 for the PlayStation 4. In our last video, well, we were able to start off the season here with your Toronto Blue Jays, and we have now made it all the way up into uh, the start of May. We're about 30 days away from the MLB draft. We're ready to go here, getting all set. Our lineup still looking pretty good, so I think we're just going to end up keeping it the way it is. I don't really think there's much else or whatever that we have to do here, so I think we're good to continue on here. First thing I'm going to do is have a drink of my Coke. Mmm. Ah, Original taste, Coca-Cola. Ah. All right. So let us continue on here as then we are in the month of May. We got to get to the draft, which it looks like it's going to be right on the 1st of June. So let's go ahead here and continue on with this series. So again, your Toronto Blue Jays with 19 and 10 record. Not really much else that we need to do here. Kruger needs a triple for the cycle. We won 9-1. to one. That was pretty awesome. Uh oh, wait a minute. I do, I do not want that. Why is that going off? Uh, no, not that. I need to go under user settings, audio, do, 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 turn off the show. There we go. Okay. So, I think I also had some scouting or whatever I had to deal with. Yeah. So, central catcher. Very nice. East. Don't need a closing pitcher. But it will take a 19-year-old shortstop there. All right, let's continue on here. Oh, got another. Wow, we blew them out big time. Got another group of guys or whatever that we can do here. Right fielder, central. I think we'll go ahead and try to look at a closing pitcher now. Taylor is trying to close us out. Uh, let's see, we got a runner on first and no, and one out. So no, 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 we'll skip that. Nope, wait a minute, wait a minute. It looks like it's actually in the transactions that we have that other one. Okay, that's fine. Let's keep it going here. Oh, we got another couple of acquisitions here. Oh, just the one this time. Uh, we'll go ahead here and do that. That's no problem. Oh, did it say? Sh yeah, it is. Jean Reed Foley is actually starting in the major leagues for the Chicago Cubs. That is a shock. It looks like we won that one. Very nice. Another thing is done here. Go to the central. Look at a starting pitcher. A one run lead to protect. I think we should be able to find that one. Yeah, that was fine. How are we doing here? We still got. Wow, look at the Orioles, man. Like, the Orioles are not supposed to be a good team. Look at that. 30th ranked, and they are doing it all on speed alone. But it also could be the fact that a lot of other teams in our division here, including... <laughs> what happened to you? Sit up. You're a silly boy. It's because I woke you up from your nap. <laughs> all right, 20 days to go here. All right, we've got a couple of more here for the... All right, got another catcher there. We got the central starting pitcher. Oh, my gosh. You're fine. Sit up. Would you like some food? Is that what's getting you all grumpy? Would you like us some food? Would you like us some food? It's going to be a little spicy. Ah, we lost that one. That's not good. 14 down. Oh, come on, we got... Oh, wow. We were down 2-1. to one. We end up winning 11-2. to two. Well done, indeed. Closing pitcher. Oh, we got some more transaction notes. People being called up. Uh, there you go, bud. You can have some more food while we're doing this because you're such a good little guy. All right, Tampa Bay with a victory, and now Baltimore. Wow, the Yankees finally started to start playing here, it looks like. All right, Central. Uh, ooh, a relief pitcher. There we go. All right, let's keep her going here. Only 15 days left towards the draft, and we got some more guys or whatever slowly 
getting to the point now where well, we got a second baseman here. Let's see, central starting pitcher done and done. Really need to get wow, Sanchez a 17 game hitting streak going. We were able to win that one. That was close. More guys getting called up throughout the season. 10 game hitting streak. Ah, we lose two to one. More scouting still being done here as we're slowly getting to the point where we're going to be able to get to the draft here. Blackburn trying to close us out. They do. Darn it. Soroka's sort of got a shutout going, and he gets the shutout. Injury there. That's no problem. And more transaction notes. Ten days left till the draft. Crew's already got two home runs. Well done. Wow, all four of them got done? No, more freaking transactions. Three of them get done. Okay, well, actually, we're going to go ahead here and do them all at once here to get everybody back to normal. East, Central, and another East guy right there. All right. So let's see here. Keep her going. Back on the bench. Yachtle utilize. Coriel needs a triple for the cycle. We still win that one. Well done. More. Oh, wait, no. Nope. Another transaction notice. That's fine. There we go. Wow, it's still actually there, even though I got rid of it. That's annoying. Five days till the draft. Looks like it's going to actually be at the end of this month. Oh, no! Loris Goriel Jr. has sustained an injury, a shoulder tear, and he will be out one to two months. Ouchie Wawa. 60-day disabled list for him. Bummer, bummer, major bummer. That is going to kind of throw our team into a little bit of a whack here. Uh, starting pitcher. Uh, let's see here. Central starting pitcher. Uh, here, let's sort by potential. Actually, overall, actually. And then maybe there'll be an East guy in here somewhere. There we go. Get that right fielder there. All right. Wow, look at that. Jordan Belazoic is having a good month or year so far. He's 6 and 1. Well, auto fixed the lineup. We got a one run lead to protect. We protected it. First year player draft is coming up. And the Pirates with an offer. They want to send us a pitcher here in Steven. Wow, really? Yeah, no. Why would I why would I do that? Honestly. No, like just no. All right, let's see here. We're going to be in a low position for drafting, but that's okay. Anthony Rizzo is injured. That's all right. It only gets only a one little game thing. And we'll go ahead here and finish this off here. Wow, look at all those central guys with those high style. Closing pitchers mostly, but that's all right. Chad Tucker. And simulate. All right, so here we are. It is the 2023 player draft. We are all ready to go here. Let's right, see. So go to the draft. We've pretty much done everything we could. We'll see if we get lucky enough or whatever to get somebody with an 80 potential, hopefully. Let's see what we got here. Whoops. All right, so we got a closing pitcher. We got a second baseman. Wow, I'm thin all the way around here. I don't know if that's because of my scouting. I don't know, because it's like it seems kind of. All right, well, let's go ahead and look at James Chen here from Massachusetts. He's going to be far off. Well, Eric George here from Tennessee. I think we'll go ahead and look at James Chen first in the second base position. We'll see if we get lucky enough for whatever here. Okay, nope, doesn't look like it. Looks like we're not going to get any more 80s here, but we do have some other guys here who are, you know, got some decent stats or whatever. Not exactly the best, but, you know, it's not the end of the world. We might be able to get lucky or whatever and get a few guys with some higher up stats, but we are only in the second round, so maybe we might want to 
take a chance on somebody here. We'll try the Andy Switzer here in the second round. We'll see what is still available as we get to the later rounds, pretty much. If a green guy is in our thing like that, you know, we can actually go ahead and go after Roberto Estevez, or I can't, I think I think I got that last name wrong. I missed, missed, uh, misread it. So, let's see. Nothing there. We got our relief pitcher in Michael Ten. We'll take him. Even though we don't really have much details about him. Hmm, let's see here. My last 80 potential seeing guy is a relief pitcher here from Michigan. Let's go ahead and take him. We'll get one final pick, I think, here. We get the final pick. And I think we're going to go with this Dave Dw Dwyer, I guess, Net from the Netherlands here. A lot of power, apparently. But we'll see if that actually turns out to be the case. So there we go. We can actually see their stats now, now that we've gone through it. That guy didn't turn out to be much of anything. Fix through that. Nothing important there. Let's take a look. See our stats here. 6-3 and three for Soroga. 6-1. and 4-3. 3-1 and one for Manoa, which is not good when he's had 11 starts. Woods Richardson, 3-0. and 6-0 oh. and oh for Victor Arreño. That is crazy. <laughs> Uh, two, oh, let's see, two wins and two losses for, uh, Castillo, one and one, Rowan Wick is one and three, Rivera hasn't pitched at all, really, why not? Like, honestly, like, he should definitely be pitching more, you know, I'm gonna go ahead here and put him, he even has a close, I'm gonna put him there and see if he can get some more you know, stats going. 20 saves and one blown save and one win for Ken Giles. His ERA is under one. He's having a great season. Take a look at the lineups through two months. Kruger's having a fantastic season. 10 home runs already, 56 games. He's already batting over 353. 47 games in an everyday situation for Guerrero. He's got seven home runs, 25 RBIs. Josh Naylor is now actually playing right now. He's actually in the star position, even though he's with Rizzo injured. 14 home runs, 49 RBIs, 314 batting average for Springer. 292, 18 home runs for Tay Oscar. you got to like that. Edmonds got seven. Jaeger's got three. Sanchez with seven. Bobby Witt right now is playing shortstop. He's got himself two, so not so bad there. Let's take a look at Rizzo. He's got ten home runs. One for Marino, two for Geraldo. Not bad. I mean, like, we're looking at some pretty interesting guys here. And, I mean, all of them seem to be playing really, really well. At least in the hitting department, anyway. And we got, we're 20 games above 500. Eight games ahead of the Yankees. 10 Orioles, 11 and a half from the Rays, 19 from the Red Sox. Cool. Did we get lucky? Well, we got James 10 here, a B potential, 46 overall. So not exactly the best, but it could be a guy who sits in our bottom. And he sweats her, Ugh, not so good there. He definitely has a chance or whatever to get better, but his stats are just so low. Roberto Espinoza from New York. Not bad. 73. Michael Ten from South Korea. We'll go ahead and give you a chance in the reliever position. Wow. <laughs> 70 potential. Yeah, no. No. Yeah, so I think I'm only going to take two guys here. Michael Ten. And, uh, Michael Tan and James Chen from Massachusetts and from South Korea. So I think that's what we'll be going with, at least for the draft. Yeah. I mean, they could get better, but I just don't see it happening. So, all right. So there we go. We've got through the draft here. We'll uh, try to get up to, let's take a look. Cabe Kruger is there in the catching. Wow, Omar Narvaez is actually 
in Texas is the highest ranked catcher right now. That's crazy. And George Springer, obviously, uh, in center field for us is there as well. So that's pretty cool. Don't think we're going to have a single. Are you kidding me? Steven Metz is there? Wow. I'll, I love the fact that a lot of the guys or whatever that we don't have anymore are still good. We got two guys or whatever here, Jordan Bellazo and Mike Soroka, who are battling enough to get in. But really not a lot. Victor Arreño is there for us, though. Dylan Fraro. Dale Castillo. Yeah, so our lead pitchers are doing well. And Ken Giles is the closing pitcher right now in line to get into the um, into the All-Star game. Todd, uh, Todd Yeager is there. That's good. Kruger leading the way. He's actually destroying everyone. Even Anthony Rizzo is there, too. I don't think we're going to have anybody there for us. No. Guerrero is there. He's trying to get in there, but it's going to be hard to beat Be uh, Bregman here. Uh, Tommy Edmond in the shortstop position. Tay hey, Oscar is there in left field. George Springer and nobody else for our right fielders. So, all right. So, let's see. We can go. Let's go to uh, the All Star break, and that will finish this video off here. As you know, lots more to worry about. Now Rizzo's back in the lineup. We can pretty much just. Breeze through. Wow, look at that. We scored 12 runs in the first in this game. That's crazy talk. We win 18 to 8. Got a one run lead to protect, and we win that one. One run lead to protect. No, it had to go to extras. Rivera got the win. Nate Pearson gets the win in that one, and a laugher. Holy crap, 15 to 10. Guerrero has a 10 game hitting streak going, and all right, we win 2 to nothing. One run lead to protect. Oh, Giles, you blew it, son. You blew it. Not so good. Not so good. All right. Oh, we got an injury there. We'll do that. Palo's always got a shutout going. Another victory for us. Eddie Montoya is no longer injured. He comes off the injured list. A lot, a couple, another guy there too came off the injured list. Well done. More transaction notes. Okay. Trying to close us out here. Oh, we're on the road, though, so I don't really care. If we were at home, it'd be fine. But we did score enough runs to take the win. Whoa. Thanks. <laughs> you still uh, planning on going? Okay, just checking. Oh, do you just burp, you silly little dude? All right, we got a one-run lead to protect. We protected it that time. Woods Richardson has won eight games. My goodness. Edmund needs a double for the cycle. Did he actually get it? He had four hits. He had a triple. He did not get it. Oh, it's too bad. Moreno's got a 10-game hitting streak, trying to keep it alive. Oh, it's a pitcher's duel there in Cleveland. 5-2, to 4-3. to three. Chapman's trying to close us out. Bottom of the ninth. We'll simulate because we don't have anybody on base. Ooh, we lose that series. Not so good there. Okay. Guess we can let's see trade talks and everything. We're not really looking at trade talks or anything. All-Star voting is still pretty much the same. Not much has changed there. we got 17 more days until the All-Star break. Uh, Guerrero's got a 13-game hitting streak on the line. We're losing that one. We're going to lose that one for sure. Teoscar is injured, but with the bruised foot, it's only going to be... Oh, Travis Hernandez. Sorry, I read that wrong completely. Doesn't really matter there. Got a one-run lead to protect, and Giles blew another one. Jeez. What? Why would I even consider giving you George Springer? I literally traded away two guys who were 99s overalls pretty much to get him. And even if he is, what, he's what, 87 overall? Yeah, he's awesome. I'm not giving away George Springer. Get the heck out of town. Uh, Soraka's got a shutout late, but it's not a no-hitter, so that's fine. Let's get rid of all of these extra things or whatever on our team. We actually haven't looked actually at our AAA and AA team in a while. So let's take a look at them. 
Our double A affiliate, 46 and 31. Gotta love that. And a 35 and 41 record. Really? For the first rank. Oh, seventh ranked Bisons. Okay, I thought we were first. But apparently the Mets there are. Really? With that kind of stats. I mean, we're not any better. We got great defense, great speed, and then average everything else. Contact, power, and pitching. So, you know, that's okay. Because we'll definitely grow into that. You know, I mean, we're not going to have a great AAA team this year. But, whoa, the Diamondbacks with a big trade. They acquire uh, uh, Raymond Loriano from the Athletics. The Athletics will get a tw uh, two prospects in Rafael Lorenzo and Akil Badu, or Bado. So, oh, well, I can actually do critical situations or whatever um, with um, my AAA and AA affiliates. I did not know that. That is actually fantastic. I did not know I could do that. Strickland's trying to close us out. We've already got two runs. We're on the road here. Simulate to the end of the game. We lose. The Rays have an offer. They want to send us a shortstop, and apparently this is going to be a big one. A prospect, Xavier Edwards, 23. And then you want me to give up a B prospect in Eric K. I'm pretty sure I've already got enough guys. Yeah, I don't need any more shortstops, to be honest. So, uh, Teoscar Hernandez already has two home runs. We're blowing them out. Not bad, not bad. Man, we're just completely bro uh, blowing through this team and everything. So, I think once we get through, once we get to the All Star break and everything like that, we will. Um, Let's see. Oh, triple A injury. Oh, gone. Yikes. We don't have four Val Lina. That's okay. One of you has user controlled player. That's okay. We can simulate that. Another victory of the Tigers with an offer. They want my starting pitcher, Johnny Francisco. That is not happening. He's my only A prospect down in there. So, would you like to participate in the home run derby? You're telling me I have no guys in the home run derby? Really? Wow, how in the hell does J.D. Martinez have 46 home runs already? That's crazy. This guy is on pace. Like, he must be on pace right now. Like. Forty-six home. He is averaging almost a home run almost every other game. How is this? He is on pace for 60 plus. Oh my God. This is like a 70 home run season for this guy. We could be witnessing history here with JD Martinez doing so bloody well with the Astros. Could you imagine if they had him on the trading block? That'd be crazy. We're not that lucky. <laughs> okay. So we have made it here to the All Star game. Uh, we can go ahead and we've got the home run derby in the All-Star game. Obviously, we will, let's see here. One of our guys made it into the All-Star game. So, wait a minute. Let's see who got in for the AL for us this year. Let's just take a look. Obviously, we're not going to play it. But, oh, wow. Look at that. Look at this. <gasps> Jordan Balazoa gets in the All-Star game. Well done. 10 and 2 so far in 19 starts. The 285 ERA. Carlo Rivera, is that ours too? It is. 16 games in. He's got a relief pitcher position. Not 0 0.92. And Ken Giles gets in with 31 saves so far. Roberto Ozuna with 29 for Houston. That's crazy. Lots of closing pitchers. Only like one relief pitcher. I guess Rivera is technically considered a relief pitcher there. So that's pretty cool. Clayton Shershaw, obviously with the Indians, is like, you know, amazing. Let's see here. George Springer gets in, of course. Oh, Gabe Kruger, the nightmare on Elm Street, gets to go to the All-Star game. And look at that already. He's... Yes, babe. 
Okay, I'm coming. Looks like the baby needs me. So I guess we're going to end this video off here. We've made it to the All-Star game. Uh, you know, in the next video, we will go up to the trade dead. We'll start doing some updates for our trade deadline and see if there's any trades that we need to do and try to finish off this season in the next video and hopefully get ready for some playoff baseball. So that is going to do it. I am Alex Fantasy. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and comment on this video. You can subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more. And as always, thank you all so much for watching you're going down there Rivera holy cripes you do not you're only playing 16 games but Jesus Murphy all right see you next time